you need a medical degree to play this game. Is this you? Are you sick of losing 40 health to a sprained arm for 10 minutes? Are you done with walking at a reduced speed for 2 hours with a broken leg? Well I'm a shady wasteland drug dealer and I can help you fix any injury you have. Aha, but Prebuilt, I have sprained leg and there's no way to speed up healing that. Ah, what a grand and intoxicating innocence. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to speed up the healing of each injury, and if you're an experienced player and already know how to heal the basic injuries, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to speed up all healing, including sprained limbs. So this first section is going to be split into three smaller sections. The first of these three smaller sections is dedicated to the injuries that can be simply wiped away with the correct item. First up we have the concussion. The way to fix a concussion is to use painkillers. Painkillers also restore health, give you 10% damage resistance and 100% stun resistance, and are pretty overpowered when you think about how many of these things you can carry. Next up we have fatigue. Fatigue can be cured with vitamins. Also, vitamins can be used to give you a 100% resistance to disease, dysentery and fatigue for 10 minutes. The last injury you can simply fix instantly is the deep laceration. Deep laceration can be fixed with sewing kits or first aid kits. The next section is for those weird time sensitive injuries. The first one we have is bleeding. Bleeding lasts 20 seconds and the way to stop it doing too much damage is to use any of the following items. Sewing kits, which will also fix the deep laceration, bandages, first aid bandages, which will also restore health, and first aid kits, which also provide a lot of benefits, most of which I will cover later in the video. Then we have internal bleeding, which lasts one minute and does a lot of damage, like a lot, a lot. The only way to get internal bleeding is by eating broken glass, and from my testing, there is no way to survive it. Pain tolerance, healing factor, fort bites, first aid kits and painkillers, along with health bars, can be used to slow it down, but you cannot outheal the bleeding, resist the damage from the bleeding, or stop it without using cheats, even when using the physician perk to increase the effectiveness of healing items. Just don't eat broken glass. Actually, I tried this after recording, and if you use two bottles of Grandpa's Moonshine and Fort Bites, you can survive the internal bleeding by having 100% damage resistance, but as far as I'm aware, there is no other way to counteract the effects. The last time sensitive injury you can get is the infection. Assuming you are hit once and are infected at 0.1% and do not attempt to cure it and are not infected further in combat, it will take exactly 7 days to die. Ah, it's the game title! The infection can be sped up by taking further damage, luckily it can be cured easily. Eating honey will slowly reduce the infection by 5%, eating herbal antibiotics will reduce infection by 10%, and chemical antibiotics will reduce infection by 25%. Remember that you can also use vitamins to give you a 100% resistance to infection. The next section of injuries we have are the ones that can't be instantly cured. First we have the broken arm. The broken arm lasts 2 hours, you can reduce that to 40 minutes using a splint or 25 minutes using a cast. Taking more damage will increase how long it takes to heal. Later I'll be showing you how to bring that 25 minute timer down even further to 15 minutes. Next we have the broken leg. The broken leg is the same as the broken arm, but this time, moving, especially sprinting and jumping, will delay your healing and will make you take periodic damage whilst moving. The last injury that is treatable but not curable is the abrasion. The abrasion lasts for 10 minutes. It can be brought down to 5 minutes using aloe cream, 3 minutes with a first aid bandage, and 2 minutes with a first aid kit. But there are two more injuries. These are the sprained arm and the sprained leg. Each lasts 10 minutes, and to make matters worse, they can develop into broken arms slash legs by attacking with a sprained arm or moving with a sprained leg. They can also reduce your health by an unnecessary amount. To make it even worse, there is no way to heal them. Or maybe there is. Before we jump into how to speed up the healing rate of absolutely every injury by 300%, if you're enjoying today's video, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more 7 days to die guides like this. So the first way to speed up natural healing rate is by using the healing factor perk from the fortitude tree. Each rank of healing factor will increase your critical healing rate, that's the rate at which critical injuries are healed, by 20%, up to rank 5 with a 100% healing rate. Taking your sprained arm for example from 10 minutes to 5 minutes, not a bad start but we can do better. 
The next thing I know, at least 90% of the community doesn't even realise exists, and of the 10% that do know it exists, about half of them actually realise what it does. And that item is the health bar. The health bar can be bought from trader vending machines for 100 dukes. But what does this bar do? Well, it gives you a bonus 10 max health, which is nice. It also gives you 50% armour crit resist, which is something that warrants its own video. It also gives you plus 200% critical healing speed meaning that a sprained arm goes from 10 minutes to 5 minutes with healing factor down to 2.5 minutes with a health bar. Now the health bar isn't completely overpowered, it only lasts 5 minutes. So for example, a broken leg which takes 2 hours to heal naturally, with a cast that becomes 25 minutes to heal, with healing factor 5 that becomes 20 minutes to heal, with a health bar that becomes 15 minutes. But in order to actually heal the leg in 15 minutes, you'll need to use 3 health bars to give you the full 200% healing rate for the full 15 minutes. Otherwise the bar will run out and the healing rate will decrease and extend the healing time. With that guys, you should now know how to treat every injury in the game and how to speed up the healing of even sprained limbs. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and tap that notification bell if you want to see more and stay tuned for a video where I explain how to stop injuries in depth. It's a lot more complicated than some people think, it's not just a simple percentage chance. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.